Two of the main questions I get asked on a regular basis is, how did I lose weight? How did I get my chest to look the way it currently does? In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing not only how you get a bigger chest, but also a few steps and things in my routine that help me lose as much body fat as possible and keep it off long-term and permanent. knocking out a chest and biceps day. The focal point of today is to really focus on building a strong chest. So if you guys are looking to build a strong chest, if you guys are somebody who suffer from having man boobs, at least get the best ones possible. So the ones that honestly you can take pride in. <laughs> I rolled a clip of me hitting like 315 the other day and that felt right, that shit felt mad smooth. So now we going back and trying to run it again. Not get up to 315, but just to get more comfortable with the form and technique we've been using. I like to start off with a lot of weight and tension and then towards the end of the workout, I'll start to go lighter, but it will still be essentially the same amount, of, same amount of work being done because as you get tired, you still have to push yourself and whatnot. So that's just the, the science shit behind it. But we're gonna knock this out for like maybe three or four reps, hopefully. I'm saying three or four reps. We're probably gonna try to get one or two and hopefully we get three or four. But from there, we'll start working into more of the higher volume work. Love this new form and technique. I got it. out of here whatever that fucking person before was talking about on the camera i don't know i'm a new me i knew i was gonna get five come on now had to wake up a little bit no auto uh sorry listening to no auto by Lil dirt yeah as you can see we pushed a lot more weight than we thought that we were gonna do we did 315 at five reps instead of the one or two that we thought we we're gonna get like last week but that just means that we're getting more acclimated to that heavier weight from there we do some drop down sets some back down sets whichever one you want to call it we go down to 225 and then we go down to 135 at each rep range we're going until almost failure at 225 i believe i did about 12 to 15 reps and then at the 135 i believe i went for like the same amount
feel like it's easier to like actually like focus on letting it come down, control. <clears throat> you see the cuts cutting? It is. Yeah, I know. I said it, but you couldn't hear me because of the Oh. I said you're looking lean. I can see the veins in your arms. Yeah. Waist looking small. Oh my bad, what waist? Nah, it's still there. It's there for right now. Uh, if you guys do like the chest workout, if you guys think that some of those movements would have been helpful, that's what I do for my chest. And that's what I'm really gonna keep on incorporating, especially with that bench press. That bench press is gonna be a staple because I changed that form. And so what I was talking to Jonah about and Sam the other day, when I do bit, like dumbbell bench press, I go here and I, because I turn my hands in, I'm able to stay tighter. On a barbell, you can't necessarily turn your hands in. So it doesn't work the same way. So I would be this wide trying to do that. And as you can see, the form is different. I'm now working in two different ranges of motion, so that's why I think I would hurt myself because when I was doing that today, you saw that shit move for like five reps. You know what I'm like that shit was smooth, that shit was easy. So, and to be real with you, I could've went for two more reps. I just didn't because I'm like, shit is feeling too good. I was like, I was like shit is feeling too good. Like even on that fifth rep, I moved it slower because I was like, I was like, let me not get ahead of myself, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the workout. Make sure you guys still decide to be better than the person you were yesterday. So we got dinner. It's hot as hell in my room right now because I forgot to turn the AC on before I left. So it's about 90 degrees in here. Uh, I'm used to it though. I was sleeping in 97 degree weather for about three weeks. So I, I think I'll be fine. I separated the steak into about three servings, two servings. I separated the rice into about two servings. And the black beans, I separated into like, I don't know, I'm just taking it as it goes. Point is, um, we got this. And then we got our protein shake, which as usual came out top tier. No, no complaints. I added some graham cracker to the top of it and it's just kind of blended in, giving that soft cookie vibe. Mm. We got our lemonade. This rounds out to about 20 calories at most because it's just a splinter packet in there. Each splinter packet is about 10 calories and I use one splinter packet. So I'll call it 20 because I know sometimes this stuff guesses. So regardless, Got some lemonade for some good taste, some good sweets, and uh, we're gonna finish up here. 